Good afternoon. This is Alvin Taveras. Welcome to our brand new episode of Developing Cape, where we'll be talking about the large developmental projects happening within Cape Coral, Florida. In today's episode, we're going to be doing a deep dive into the city's master plan for parks and recreation. On this slide, we can see all the parks that currently exist within Cape Coral. I will be doing a deeper dive into those that are circled in purple. The first park we're going to be talking about is Gator Circle Park, which is located in Northeast Cape Coral, just south of Island Coast High School. The highlights in this park's proposal is a large circular walkway around the entire park. We also see two basketball courts, two tennis courts, and a playground. This second park I'm actually pretty excited about is Lake Mead Community Park. It's also located in Northeast Cape Coral, just off of Kesmet Parkway. So the proposal for Lake Mead has a lot of the basics you'd expect to see in a typical park proposal including a walking path, a children's playground, basketball courts, tennis courts, but it has a couple of additions that I am personally very excited for. So some of the things include an open space public event center. This is gonna be great for a lot of community events. I can imagine having 4th of July fireworks happening at this park. We will also have in the proposal is a skate park, a recreational center, a place to launch your boat, a boat trailer parking, a boardwalk, and get this, it's proposed to have its very own beach. The third park that we'll be taking a look at is Lake Kennedy, located just north of Sun Splash Water Park in central Cape Coral. When we look at the designs, we can tell a couple of things. One is we can see a whole lot of tennis courts being proposed. We can also see a pretty cool idea, which is a boardwalk going south of Sunsplash. The boardwalk will also include a kayaking launch. We can also see the two buildings to the east is a community park and the Cape Coral Special Population Building. In the center, we see a large green space designed for future development. And just north of that green space, we see the future home of Cape Coral Animal Shelter. This next park is already one of the most popular parks in Cape Coral. It is the Yacht Club, located in Southeast Cape Coral, and it is an economic magnet. Every single house that's located in the area will list proximity to the Yacht Club as a home's number one feature. It does a lot to drive up property values. If we look at the overall proposals for the improvements and enhancements of the Yacht Club facilities, a lot of these already exist, but it is great to see the, uh, the upgrades taking place. There is one feature that has me very excited, and that's the Floating Aqua Park. The Floating Aqua Park will definitely do a lot to drive in new visitors to the area, and I think it will also excite many local residents as it will provide another option for things to do during the summer. Crystal Lakes within Northwest Cape Coral is an absolutely exciting proposal. It is designed to essentially be the outdoor water sports playground of your dreams. It is proposed to have its very own beach, its very own aqua park, its very own cable for water skiing, its own scuba diving area, and along the entire perimeter, it will have its own boardwalk. Located in central Cape Coral, we can see the proposal for phase two of Cultural Park. In looking at the diagram, there are several enhancements that stand out. One of them is the garden space in front of Cape Coral's Historical Society and Museum. We can also see a large and expansive walkway being included, which I think will add a lot of multi-purpose space to the, uh, the local park. I wanted to share with you one more park design before we left today. That park is Yellow Fever Creek Environmental Park located in way northeast Cape Coral. This park has the making of being one of the best walking trails within Cape Coral and I hope it comes to fruition. Thank you so much for watching my video. 
My name is Alvin Taveras and I am an active realtor here in Southwest Florida. I'll be more than happy to help you reach your real estate goals. Please give me a call, text, email, message, or leave a question below. I'll be more than happy to assist. Thank you so much and take care.